Hey, hey, what is going on, guys? This is Coast Child Onkster Born Bob, Bob for Theme Parks, and welcome to another video. Now, first of all, I've got to say thank you to the people who hashtagged in the comments. Now, some of you may have seen this in a couple of the videos. Someone's put a hashtag Doncaster Born but built for theme parks, and I'm so happy about that because I didn't think that catchphrase was going to catch on with people. But the fact that I'm getting people saying hashtag Doncaster Born but built for theme parks in the comments down below is unbelievable. So thank you very much for that. And now let's get into the third and final video of today. So of course uh, we released uh, a video on V2 on Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Uh, the future of X Sector at Alton Towers, and now we're going to be looking at something which Amusement Insiders did a video on, and I wanted to sort of give my views on it. And this is the Cedar Fair ride removals. Uh, so basically, if you don't know what's happening, uh, this off season for ride removals in the Cedar Fair chain has been absolutely immense. We've had Orbiter at Canada's Wonderland, which is an Enterprise, uh, which is Wheel, which is the Enterprise over at Cedar Point, which technically closed uh, before Halloween Haunts last season. However, it's still technically off-season in a way. Uh, Firehawk at Kings Island, again, similar situation during Halloween Haunt, sort of announced it. And of course, the video which I released just a day or two ago about Volcano the Blast Coaster at Kings Dominion uh, that was released yesterday. Um, that's gone. So, basically, Witch's Wheel, it was an okay ride. Kind of had its days numbered, but not too much. Firehawk, it was rumoured a lot along with Vortex that it was going to be closed because of course they did that whole campaign of how one of the coasters will bite the dust and get its own funeral memorial service. We were kind of predicting between, it, the main two predictions were Firehawk and Vortex. Vortex is the Arrow Custom Loop over uh, the Lakish area. Uh, but with Firehawk being on that site where the old Dinosaurs Alive was as well, we kind of assumed it would be more towards the Firehawk because of the potential of that site and the uh, potential for the B&M Giga. Uh, rumour to sort of fly through and come ahead so we kind of knew it would be Firehawk in the end and it was so it wasn't expected similarly which is wheel uh, but two announcements that were very unexpected Orbiter which was removed completely out of nowhere um, and of course Volcano the Blast Coaster which of course it's had its reliability issues and its technical problems uh, and its rollbacks here and there but you know it might have had its breakdowns, but we still didn't expect it because it was one of the top three coasters at Kings Dominion, so we kind of didn't expect this. Um, so I did some research as well as watching the Amusement Insiders video, and uh, we're still going to have a look as to what rides could be on the chopping block uh, from Cedar Fair over the next few seasons. Now, this, the f well, there's three points that I managed to pick out of the Amusement Insiders video that was apparently uh, talked about in the stock stockholders call. Um, recently, now apparently, according to that stockholders call, they're about they're going to be removing rides that are no longer popular with guests, too much to maintain, or just maintenance problems in general. Now, some people have said top fuel drag stuff, but you've got to remember that's an extremely popular ride. That's one of the top rides in terms of popularity over at Cedar Point. So, I don't think top fuel. For those of you who are wondering, what well, is top fuel drag stuff going to go? It's not. I don't think many of the Intamins are going to be on the chopping block. I think Volcano is just a one-off Intamin that might be on the chopping block for a while. Uh, but I definitely think Top Floor Dragster isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, it's, it's nowhere near the chopping block. It's like right right to the back of the queue. It's not even into the queue yet for the Executioner. Uh, um, but, I think, but in my opinion, and I think in a lot of people's opinion, uh, one ride that is way at the front of the queue and literally five minutes away from getting executed is... Uh, Carowinds' Enterprise, which is of course uh, Nighthawk, um, Nighthawk at Carowinds. I think that's that's on the way out. I think uh, loads of people have been talking about Nighthawk being on the way out at Carowinds, so um, I won't be surprised to see that go in the next couple of years, next two or three years. Um, obviously, there was the uh, the past where a lot of Intamins have left. We've got Shoot the Rapids over at Cedar Point and now Volcano over here at Kings Dominion. Uh, Vekoma with the Firehawk trend at Kings Island. Is Vekoma's on the way out? Are Arrow on the way out? Is Vortex safe for now? And then it's going to get chopped in a few years? Maybe. I mean, it's hard to predict at this time. It's hard to confirm anything at this time. Uh, because, you know, we're about to enter the exit of the off-season, of a very surprising off-season. When we first entered the off-season, I was kind of thinking, well, a couple of off-seasons ago in the UK, we had Wild Mouse being demolished out of nowhere, we had a last ride, 
um, which was kind of upsetting. Um, we had many other removals around the world, so we kind of didn't expect this um, off-season to be as big, but of course, you know, they've removed one of the top coasts of King's Dominion and unexpectedly removed one of the classic Canada's Wonderland flat rides, so again, it's very, very um, surprising, but uh, another ride that I found uh, which people have been talking about for a possible removal is Sledgehammer at Canada's Wonderland, which is their... Um, their Huss uh, Claw Jump. I mean, you, you, it's on RCT3, it's on Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, it's the Claws of Doom. Um, it's their Huss Jump Around, it's like, basically you sit in these like claw things, like the, like the uh, KMG Afterburners. And it's literally one arm attaching each claw and they'll get rised up, the seats will spin around about, so again, it's a very uh, technical flat ride. Many people have been saying that Sledgehammer could be in trouble at Canada's Wonderland. Do I believe that? I don't want to confirm anything or give my opinions until I fully know the truth. Because I, I don't have much knowledge on, Sledge, on Sledgehammer at Canada's Wonderland. So again, I won't have much to talk about with that. So I'm not going to confirm my predictions as to, as to whether I think Sledgehammer is going to be in trouble or not. Uh, I do agree with some people though that, Night, like I said, Nighthawk at Carowinds I think is the next to go. Uh, comment down below any rides that you think in the Cedar Fair chain is gone and don't comment Michigan's Adventures on the way out. Don't comment saying Cedar Fair is going to remove Michigan's Adventure because it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, it, it, I know it's funny, it's a joke, but it, realistically it's not going to happen. So again, comment down below any rides that you think is on the chopping block. Do you agree with Nighthawk, Sledgehammer? Uh, do you think Vortex at King's Island's got a few years left and then that's on the chopping block? Are there any wooden coasters in the Cedar Fair chain that you think, hang on, RMC time? Because uh, I know that Carowinds as Hurl has been talked about for an RMC for 2023. Uh, a couple of years, one or two years ago they've been talking about a 2023 RMC Hurler. So, again, do we agree with that? Do we think Carowinds as Hurl is on the chopping block uh, for an RMC treatment uh, or a complete removal? I don't know. Um, so comment down below any rides that you think are on the chopping block for Cedar Fair. Do you agree with Nighthawk possibly going? Do you agree with uh, Sledgehammer possibly going? Do any of you think Top th th even though it's nowhere near going to be removed, do you think Top Thrill Dragster is going to get removed? Because I don't think it will. I think many people don't think it will, but I think a few people must think so, otherwise they wouldn't have said Top Thrill Dragster could be on the way out. But again, you've got to think, even though it's had its maintenance problems in the past, it is a very popular ride at Cedar Point. It's one of the top coasters at Cedar Point. So again, you've got to think on that perspective. They're looking for rides that are not popular and tough to maintain, tough to provide the cost for maintain and having maintenance problems in general. So you've got to think on the basis of all those three instead of one and not the other. Top Thrill Strike is a very popular ride, even though it's had its maintenance problems in the past. So, again, I, I'm, sh I'm sure they'll update it here and there, but it won't be removed for a long, long time. I think I'll be in my 30s, my late 30s, when Top Thrill Dragster goes. Um, I, I, might, I might be over-exaggerating. I might be waking up the next morning and Top Thrill Dragsters have been announced to close at the end of the season. Probably won't happen, but... It, in fact, I don't think it will happen, but... You know, I didn't expect Volcano to be announced. I know it didn't operate since last April in 2018. But again, I didn't think Volcano was actually going to be announced to be removed at the start of the season. I was kind of thinking it'd be removed at the end of the season. Maybe fix it one more time, get it back up and running for another season. And then announced um, at the end of the season. I don't know. So, there we go. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. And for now, my name is Coast Chal, Doncaster Bumble, but built for theme parks. Keep living the coast life, my dudes, and I will see you guys in the next video soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.